with Amy Friends. I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about A Court of Mists and Fury by Sarah J. Moss. This is the second book in the A Court of Thorn and Roses series or as more commonly known as Akotar. I did read this whole series last year when Marshall is reading it now for the first time. Yep, I've already done the first and second ones and script cut me off. A little bit of a spoiler warning, if you haven't done the first book yet, this will completely ruin it for you. At the end of the last book, um, she manages to rescue all the fairy kingdoms from the evil queen, and she is transformed after dying into a fairy herself, and now she's going to marry her one true love, who, who who's very quickly becomes a jerk, and cuts her off from all information, and won't let her leave the palace, and is extremely possessive of her. And so on their wedding day, um, their, one of their enemies calls in the bargain that he made with Feyre and pulls her away from her wedding to live with him for a week in the night court, uh, as the fairy realms are divided into seven different courts. The rest of the story is kind of her coming to grips with her feelings about her husband-to-be. And it's also got a lot of this overarching story of a war that is coming mm -hmm. between older fairy realms and the human realm. This, this book had some issues with. Um, a lot, a lot of this is kind of, like she's described in previous ones, this is fairy tales meets Twilight meets um, Hunger Games. And in this one, the, the Twilight kind of takes over. And I didn't like that. But this does have, uh, I think one of my favorite characters shows up, Cassian, which I think come, he comes more into play in the third book. He just gets introduced. He in has second book. He has a little bit of time in the second book, and that kind of also brings me to one of my other issues with this book, and that is that every single character that they introduce here, they all have these sad, sad backstories. And I don't have a problem with that, but when literally every character has a sad backstory, aren't they all just the same character? No. It felt like it. It felt like it. There is a few differences in this one or that one, but I'm really looking forward to the next book. Because where we ended in this book, I'm just like, oh, it's on now. <laughs> where the last book I gave it four stars, this one, I'm kind of more, uh, it's a three star for me. I really have high hopes for the next one. And that is uh, our little review of the second book in the series. Again, everything is going to be down below, but thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.